Hey everybody, I'm Nick here and welcome back to Dicey Dungeons. We are now on the Inventor, doing that parallel universe. Gonna see what sort of interesting equipment we get. We do have a side goal that is an achievement of trying to use our... Oh my god. Of trying to use our gadget, the same gadget, three times in a single turn. On six, reactivate a gadget. He rolls two dice, so I don't think it matters. Ouch. Okay. Oh, max five. That is going to suck. We might just have to use our focus to counter that. Well, no, we can just kill him. Works out, we get to save our focus. Honestly, that's actually probably the right choice. But yeah, I already hate this parallel universe. Because you only get offered one of your things. Which is terrible and is still bad mechanics. I'm never I'm never going to disagree with that statement. It is the way that th the way that this works is just quite simply uh, bad mechanics. It's not bad. Chances are I'm not ever using that, but I might as well take it down. That's unfortunate. Just taking quite a bit of damage. I was wondering how that would happen. I should have just used folk. Ah, damn it. So there has to be another way for us to. It, it's big and it doesn't really help that much. Tetraphobia, nice. Tetraphobia is a fear of fours, by the way. We're gonna have to mulch two of these. Technically, that's dealing 5 damage if he undoes both of them. Which he doesn't, but so we dealt slightly less damage. Yeah. 
Tetraphobia would be fine. That's fine too. Eh, the Molotov is very lackluster in my opinion. It's gonna save us losing extra equipment though. If he hits us, he dies. Oh wait, thorns do something different. Oh, you heal. That's actually pretty good. It Thorns is basically the new armor, except I don't know if you can die before it happens. That's actually pretty good. That may be a mistake, but it means that I mulch whatever I use unless it's screwdriver. Yeah, those two together are really nice. That's great for us because he basically just dies. I don't think we actually like that. Opens up equipment. Burn is really good for us at turn. God damn it. Of course, these don't equal seven. Kill her, we die. I believe we are dead. Yep, we're dead. I needed her to actually deal one extra damage so that I would have my focus. Yeah, that was honestly a really bad set of equipment. Uh, rolling two dice and having them equal seven is a one in six chance. But it's, it's really not that good. Doesn't matter how I do this. Wow, five damage, three shield. We can. Oh, that's right, that's heal at the start of the turn.
At least him rolling sixes doesn't really hurt. Rolling two evens on three dice isn't that unlikely. It's 50-50. That's rough though. Just hope that whatever gets poisoned isn't something we need. To be fair, that was really close. Actually, no, we're guaranteed because we can we can always hit the the three. If we don't, if we roll two dice higher than five, it turns out I need to I need to save the screwdriver. Mosquito bite's interesting. Everything still fits. No choices. Okay, we just don't know what our HP is, which is fine. Five and two is really good because we can do that. I don't need to use my focus on this fight. That was unlucky. Basically, in order to And then we go after Super Robot, who will likely kill us. Interesting, that's not what I was expecting. That's interesting. The high viz jacket is always gives you a benefit. Well, there you go. Now I just have to let him beat me up. Like, legitimately. There we go. Achievement unlocked. And now I cannot care about that ever again. Gotcha. Alright. It was always the same thing. interesting actually can I buy more equipment at all no I could buy an upgrade the hive is jacket 
is actually really good. I'd rather it lower the numbers, honestly. Like, lower this number, than increase the damage. I still think screwdriver is our best piece of equipment. What? Ew. Be curious what the upgrade for rubber mallet is. This is a terrible floor. Holy shit. With the scrap kettle, we just need a lot of, uh, just a lot of stuff so that we can not worry about the burn. I don't like that doesn't seem to work like it's not working correctly I'm confused like that's it's not working the way it should that's unfortunate like it's not I hit this and it's oh I'm blocking my own status of- God damn it! Hi Viz Jacket, you are a friggin' jerk, dude. I'm a little upset that that works. Because that's a positive status effect for me. Like, these should cancel each other out or something. Just watch. Yeah, it's blocked. That's dumb. That's really dumb, actually. Like, I'm, I'm actually a little mad about how dumb that is. Hey, look, a rubber mallet. I am curious. Like, otherwise, the hive is jacket's really good, but why does it, why does it block itself? Like, that's the dumb part. All right, so I'm gonna fight the source. Or wait, we level up in three. Let's just do this. Wait, shouldn't it have rerolled? I'm confused. Did, did something bad happen again? Oh, on one also reroll. Never mind. That's not as it's not as good as I thought it was. It's a good way for our focus to deal 12 damage, though.
We're going to be fine, luckily. At least we should be. I mean, the shield is totally helping us out here, so. Um, yeah, you're just dead. Very nice. Yeah. Extra dice is nice. What are our costs here? Okay, what is your upgrade? On an odd, also reroll. So that makes a five really, really good. How about high-vis jacket? Just makes it small. Spanner sword, you can use it twice. Um, oh, that's so it doesn't chain into it into itself. So here's the problem. I want to upgrade equipment, but whatever I upgrade, I should I could buy a rubber mallet and upgrade it? So here's the thing. We are 100% doing this because it's fire damage and will absolutely destroy the man. So let's do that first. Because remember, with the inventor, the main play is... Oh wow, that's really good. Mama, I fucking killed the man! Like, we're taking some damage, sure. But... Good god. He's, he's just so dead, it's silly. Dungeons used to be cool. Yeah. And you just do stupid shit like this. Marshmallow first. I think we fight the rhino beetle first. The problem is with the, with the rhino beetle, I think we do this. I think we fight the rhino beetle and we hope that we get offered one of the things that I don't mind getting rid of. Also, oh, that's right, we, plus we've got our focus. Honestly, the spanner sword is what I want to get rid of. Ow. That's locked for next turn, which is good for us. I don't know if it was worth four extra damage, but well, he couldn't use either of those, which is good for us. So here's the thing, five. Actually, we should just, we should just do that. Um, okay, we're gonna need to take quite a chunk of damage here. Locked a dice, didn't he? I do wish you got the the armor, the shield heal at the end of the fight. Okay. Pillow fort. Hmm. 
That's an interesting one. The poison could be problematic. That leg, though. Ooh. The pillow fort's actually really, really good, come to think of it. This was a really bad roll for us, but... We're going to reduce poison damage by four. Ignore the curse. Take the one damage, but ignore the poison. That's actually legitimately insane against this character, and I didn't even think about it until now. All right, that's not the same thing anymore. Didn't even need the focus, because I rolled so well. Yeah, Pillow Fort's truly and legitimately insane against him. Don't need to reroll. Ignore the curse, ignore the poison. Oh my gosh. He's dead. Should drain the health. Wow. Single equipmently destroyed it. Um. Yeah. Fine. Wait, you're kidding. That just does more damage every battle? So if we keep that alive, we're just insane. Why couldn't I get that early? Ooh, what a roll. Trying to decide if the focus is worth it here. I think it is. Huzzah! I rolled a six into a six. Yeah, our maximum damage output here is a little bit shoddy. And this is gonna hurt like a motherfucker. Said maximum damage output is 17. Which is pretty nuts. That's a very high amount of damage. Alright, on an odd reroll. You are dead. Though I admit barely. Level up. The fact that that does that is truly insane. I think, however... A rubber mallet is now our best... Like, it's, it's, it's our best item.
Another upgrade. Plus another piece of equipment. It is worth, yeah. I'm gonna get silenced anyway, so. No damage, so. Oh, limit break is less powerful? Okay. That's the one that dodges. Oh, I could have done that first. Oh, well. Alright, so... Choosing to silence over dealing damage. That's fine by me. We are ahead of the game. We lose two dice if that goes wrong. That was the weakest I've ever seen that bird. That is exactly what I wanted, actually. Holy banana sandwich, Batman. So next turn we take 12 damage. Yeah, that transformer is nuts. I kind of want to keep the transformer safe. Because it does so much damage. It's going to do so much damage. If you were to get that early. Yeah. We're going to hit one of those eventually. We got to open up the other equipment. Um... Oh my god. Curse is so dangerous. I really just have to wait. Yeah. Keeps rolling fours! Stop rolling fours. We're at 25 HP. It's 
It's Route 24, I think. I do have six gold, so I can buy a lot of stuff from over there. However, our damage output is garbage. Well, we're getting frozen twice. And fucking curse, Jesus. We're gonna kill ourselves with curse. I can't risk it. Fuck, we're cursed again! Now I just have to risk it. What the fuck? Fucking perfect roll! Thank God. We're still probably dead. No, we are dead. What am I talking about? We're dead. Got to deal nine damage and she... Yeah, we're dead. Fuck. Fuck curse. Fuck curse, dude. Fuck curse. No. Curse is fucking garbage. It's, it's garbage. It's 100% garbage. And also the inventor's garbage. Now that's our first episode where we don't come out with a win at the end. Um... Am I surprised? No, it's the inventor. I hate the inventor. I, it's bad design. It will always be bad design. I'm sorry, Dicey Dungeon developers. You did make something different. It is unique, but I hate this character. This character is a terrible idea. And whichever one of you thought of it, I hope you realize that. Because you made a roguelike where you are not allowed to actually make positive progression. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I will see you next time, but until then, keep your gears turning.